welcome back to the channel today's video is all about training it's not going to be a tutorial i'm just going to show you some great training schedules that gets your players fit ready and happy for match days giving you better chances for better results so today we're just going to look at some great training schedules rather than a tutorial we are going to save that for fm22 oh i can't wait i cannot wait but today's video like i said is all about training if you are enjoying my type of content on youtube make sure you are subscribed so you get the notifications every time i upload you can like the video that helps the algorithm and all that good stuff also if you leave a comment i believe that helps as well and if you like free football if you like reading team news and stats and all of that good stuff this app is certainly for you one football and the rdf tactics channel have chosen to collab once again downloading this app would help this channel out in many ways but why exactly should you download it the one football app is an excellent app for football fans it's the best place to check recent news legally watch matches yes for free and you can follow your team and be notified when something major happens it's also great to check out the latest transfer rumors and if you're like me you don't want to miss out on any rumors transfer season can be fun once all the league starts up as well it's a great app to check statistics this channel creates recreations using the one football app helps grab vital stats but also you will have access to team lineups before the football match starts this is a great app if you want to follow football around the world or get the latest news just on your team so make sure you try it out but it does also help this channel out a lot and gives it many great opportunities to grow so give it a go and i promise you won't regret it Training wasn't a high priority for me until I really looked into it and more bothered about it and then I realised that I was kind of missing out. What you do in training can benefit you on match day as well, it can get your team better prepared using your tactic and all of that good stuff. Also for development as well, the assistant manager isn't bad at doing training, he's actually pretty decent, I've used him pretty much the whole of FM21 but since taking control of my training I've had better control over the match day experience and over player development. So we're going to go into football manager now to look at these training schedules and why we can look at why they have worked so well in our stream so far. If you are missing out on our Victoria stream, we are in our fifth season. The save is going absolutely great. It's entertaining, so make sure you do join the Twitch. It's twitch.tv RDF Tactics. Make sure you join. The link will be in the description as well. But enough of me talking. Let's look at the game. So here we are with Victoria. We are in 2024. So we can look at how some players developed we can look at some first season or second season players we can see how they developed but we are going to look at the training schedule to see why it's worked for us so well so if we look at the training happiness a lot of the people are content those that are unhappy about training are mostly unhappy about the individual training that i've set so their issue isn't with the training schedules as such it's more about how i've individually set them up but other than that, everyone else is pretty much content or happy with the training overall. The training performance as well, as you can see here, everybody is in the light green. Nobody's in that grey area. So everybody's training well. Why is everybody training well? We are winning games, that of course helps. But we are winning games as well as because of the training schedules set so as we can see here i've kind of split it into three kind of different sections so we've got attack we've got defense and we've got technical with victoria though i made one kind of specialized for victoria alone so it's just one training schedule that i can just use throughout the whole season which is what i pretty much do so for victoria i've got one for one match and i've got one for two matches the main focus if we look at the top right we want sharpness we want match sharpness good match sharpness of course we want good team cohesion good team happiness and good team familiarity so these ones here we want in the green or just well in the green now if we look at some of the presets for example a gag and press which is what we use most of the time if we use one match you can see the team happiness or the team sharpness isn't great team cohesion could be better and the injury risk is slightly too high so when we are using this during the season we must know that we can pick up some injuries using this training schedule as we can see the injury risk is quite high and it's kind of the same for all of the presets if we look at tiki taka the injury risk is quite high the match sharpness isn't great if we look at wing play 
it's the same the injury risk is even worse and if we look at some of the training styles something like possession go to one match again the injury risk isn't great the match sharpness is actually in red this time and the team cohesion isn't great so if you're suffering from some bad results these training schedules aren't really going to help you get out the mud what you can do is tweak the schedule so again looking at the training schedules that i have we've got the victoria one but we've got one that purely focuses on attack we've got one that purely focuses on defense and we've got one that purely focuses on technical ability you can pick and select which ones you want to use at whichever time if you're playing against manchester city or you've got a bad week or a difficult week coming up you can go for the defensive schedules or if you're facing against an easy side you can go for attack or technical but also you must take in consideration which area are you trying to develop are you trying to develop your team's technical abilities their defensive abilities all of that depends on you but these training schedules will certainly help you So we can just look at attack one, the injury risk is still slightly high, it's not as high as the others. The fatigue as well, I forgot to mention the fatigue, you can see now it's in light red, it's not in dark red, light red is where we want the fatigue to be. But we can look at the sharpness, the sharpness is getting better, the team cohesion is quite high, the happiness is quite high and the familiarity is also quite high. Now if I look at my dynamics, you can see the team cohesion is good, the players have developed a strong understanding. Now the team cohesion is is still high even though we've actually made quite a few signings in our first season and we are only in September so only two months these players have only had two months at the team and already the team cohesion is quite high the club atmosphere is on excellent the managerial support is quite well it's quite good as well but that's not really to do with the training the team cohesion though is quite high at Victoria and that is helped with our training schedules as I use the Victoria one and you can see the team cohesion is nearly maxed out so we can look at the attack number two as well fairly similar but the fatigue is going to be quite high because of the match on the wednesday defense as well we've got the defensive schedules again the sharpness is what we're looking at the team cohesion the happiness and the familiarity all of this is very well very good for the defensive schedules for match day two look at the familiarity is all the way up team cohesion as well almost all the way up and for the technicals as well again similar we've got good sharpness good fatigue as well the fatigue levels are good the team cohesion is great happiness great familiarity perfect though so this is what you should be aiming for with the schedules the presets are there they are presets they're templates they are designed for you to tweak as well so they aren't going to come perfect football manager aren't going to give you a perfect training schedule it's kind of pointless so i hope this helps you i hope this helps you with your own training schedules these will be downloadable of course the link will be in the description but if this video has helped you design your own ones then that's a win-win we are winning either way let's look at how some of the players have developed wow i almost left you guys in the dust so we can look at someone like andre bondozo he's actually a region he joined us after the first season i believe or in the first season and this is someone that didn't have a very good potential ability we must also take that into consideration his potential ability was actually three star and it's increased but let's see how he has developed since his first season so if we look at his progress from all time we can see that he's progressed absolutely well of course he joined when he was 16 so he is going to develop fairly quickly and we did put him in the first team after the first season but we can see here major improvements in all aspects technical mental and physical and we are seeing plus twos plus threes and plus fours in his attribute increases Andre Bondozo has developed quite well and another one is Armin Essahal from Morocco he joined us on a free transfer from Belgium so he's been with us for how many seasons one two three four he's been with us with almost four seasons playing regularly for three of those seasons if we look at his attribute increases let's go to all time and you can see again we are seeing threes we're seeing twos he has major improvements in all aspects of his game that's technical mental and physical areas armin essahal has performed or developed quite well using these training schedules we are also using individual so for someone like armin essahal i've given him the attacking midfielder with the attacking duty as well as agility and balance for the additional focus his balance and 
agility wasn't great when it joined us he has increased in that area by one so if we look at his let's get rid of all of this stuff so here if we look at his agility and balance they both have increased by one well if we look at his agility his agility actually started at 13 it's now at 15 but i believe it's not a solid 15 just yet when his 15 gets a bit where that yellow line is then we will see a two next to agility but you can see that armin Esahel has developed quite well lastly we can look at andre almeida someone that was with us from the very beginning from the get-go andre almeida was with us he's now our club captain i believe if we look at his all-time attribute increases again we've seen slight improvements in his technical ability but there's major improvements in his mental ability and a slight improvement in his physical ability physically and technically he was already decent it was the mental aspects that we really wanted to improve and that is where he really did improve so we can see that his positioning increased by two he's off the ball by one his concentration composure anticipation all increased by two if we look at his individual training i haven't actually given him an individual role or a positional role to train only additional focus which was passing and you can see that his passing is on 16 his technical ability is on 16 and so is his vision all of those of which wasn't at 16 when we started so if we look at his vision again all of these things are selected which is very annoying so if we look at his vision his vision actually started at 14 it's now at 16 so there's an increase of two in that area his technical ability it was at 15 it's now at 16 and his passing was also at 14 which is now at 16 so his individual training has helped and it also hasn't stalled his other areas such as his mental ability his positional ability has increased by two so has his composure his concentration and and his anticipation though we wasn't focusing in those areas but unfortunately that wraps up this mini training video i hope you guys have learned something from this i certainly learned from it when i actually looked into it i always knew what the things meant but it was all about what it really meant and how it can affect and how you can actually implement it to develop or benefit your side so i hope this helped you guys i hope it really did help you guys let me put my face cam there voila I hope it helped you. I hope you can create your own. If not, you could just download these training schedules. It doesn't matter. You're basically going to get the same results anyway. But again, I hope it helped you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, or if it did help you, sorry, then hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment as well. Help the algorithm that helps this video. I hope that made sense because it didn't really make sense in my head. But I'll see you guys soon. Stay safe, peace out, and lots of love your way. See ya.